All right, so I'm super excited to make this video because I recently started using a new trading tool and indicator, and it's literally increased my win rate by 15% over the past 30 days, which is a pretty big jump. So anyways, guys, I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm using this trading tool, how I'm applying it to my own setups, my own strategy when it comes to trading, and ultimately how I'm using it to increase my win rate and make more money with trading. So that being said, super excited to show this. Let's go ahead and dive straight into it. Okay, so like I said, I wanna show you a genius day trading indicator that's making $1,000 per day. I'll show you proof of that in just a second. So basically what this is, like I said before, is a brand new trading indicator slash tool that has increased my win rate by nearly 15% over the past 30 days. Now, keep in mind, I'm using this indicator and tool a very specific way that lines up with my strategy and my setups that I've been using for the past year. So I'll show you what the tool is in just a second and examples of trades I took today using that tool. But really what this tool has helped me do the most and the reason I'm bringing it to your guys' attention is it's helped me avoid a lot of losing and bad trades, okay? So that's the main thing that this indicator or tool, software, whatever you wanna call it, has helped me do. Now, the way I found out about this tool, it's not like I was searching for trading tools. It's actually a person I used to work for. I was a marketing director for his company. He recently sold his marketing company for a lot of money and he got heavily invested into day trading, learning how to day trade. He started recruiting all kinds of top people from Wall Street and he created this tool and they've been testing it for the past year. And like I said, it's been working really well and he saw that I also day trade online. He reached out to me, told me about this tool. So I've been testing it over the past 30 days and like I said, it's helped my trading tremendously by avoiding a lot of losing trades that I would have taken originally, right? That I used to would have taken. So anyways, I'm gonna go and share what the tool looks like, okay? So anyways, as we can see, this is what the tool looks like. They have like a more proper dashboard, but this is the actual thing you're gonna use when you're using this tool. So as you can see, this looks really confusing, overwhelming, it's very simple. These are just the charts for QQQ and SPX, so SPY. And you can see that what this tool does is this is a SPY and sell signal indicator. So basically tells you where to short the market, where to close out your trades, where to short the market, where to close out your trades. It gives you buy signals, right? So again, these tools I usually wouldn't have trusted in the past, like, oh, you're just telling me where to buy and sell, you know, kind of sounds too good to be true. Again, the only reason I sign up to this because I know the person who created this tool, I've met him in person, I trust him. Now keep in mind, I don't follow the buy and sell signals, okay? Because I have my own strategy, my own setups. What I pay attention to more is they have a full-time analysis that's able to read the market, what the big banks are doing, what the big hedge funds are doing on Wall Street, and they're able to see you know, the direction of the market, where the market's heading to, where the big banks and hedge funds have certain quotas, where they need to get the price to a certain target throughout the day so they don't lose a bunch of money, right? So that's the more valuable part about this tool is what the analysis is telling us, right? So I'll kind of explain that in a second. Now keep in mind, I also have other traders under me, right, that trade for me that do follow these buy and sell, sell signals, right? So me personally, I don't follow them but I do have traders under me that trade for me that are following them and they're making really good money with the strategy that I'm using. So I'm, there's two different strategies to use this tool to make money. Um, I'll show you both of them. Like I said, I use strategy number two where I combine my own setups with what the analysis is telling me or you can just you know follow the buy and sell signals and do it a certain way. So for example, let's say you were to just follow every buy and sell signal on this uh, tool today, as you can see, the market first opened, it told us to get short here. As you can see, it had a beautiful trade. You would have been up, you know, $959. So we can see on the right here, it tells us the exact trades it's taken today and the total PL. Okay, so it's up $1,100. Keep in mind, this is as if it were trading one NASDAQ mini contract. So this is all based on NASDAQ. So these trade scenarios are if you were to trade one mini NASDAQ contract or 10 micros, okay? So super simple. As you can see, the first trade, it took four minutes after the market opened. It told us to short. It closed out at 944. We can see all this on the chart right here, right? As you can see, it made $959, literally within the first 15 minutes of the market open. After that, it tells us to short again, right? As you can see, it made $400, it lost 250, lost 190, then it made 1000, right? So you can see the exact trades, right? So there's full transparency that, you know, if you follow the signals, you will make money, 
right? You can see the total PL. Um, some days it'll lose money, but literally like 80% of the days, like I said, I've been using this every day the past month you will make money if you follow the exact trades it's telling you. So anyways, now I wanna go and talk about the two strategies I use where we can actually beat the indicator, okay? So this indicator is an algorithm that tells you where to buy and sell. Now, if we use our own brain and our own trading experience, everything you've learned, everything you know about trading, you can actually beat this indicator and avoid all these, a lot of these losses, right? And you can make much more than what it's making. Okay, or you can make it so you don't have to take 20 trades a day and sit at the market all day. You could just trade the first one or two. So anyways, let me go and show you these two strategies of how I'm currently using this tool. By the way, guys, if you guys do wanna sign up to this tool and get more information about it, I'm gonna go ahead and leave my link below. It'll be the first link in the description below where you can actually sign up to this tool and get access. Um, if you do sign up, I'll actually give you some free bonuses, uh, basically just free training on how to actually use this tool. So you get access to these different lessons, and then you also get access to our free community. Um, as you can see, some of our members are using this tool. As you can see, this guy literally bought the tool this morning. He said, I took one look at it, looked at the price, and already paid for itself for the month today. Not a bad investment. As you can see, um, this is like an hour into the market open. It already made $1,700. Again, if you do want to sign up to it, I'll leave my link below and you'll get access to some training for free and also access to our private community as well uh, where you can chat with other members also using this tool. So anyways, let's go ahead and go over the strategy on how I use this tool, okay? So how I'm making money using this tool. The first strategy is this is the strategy you're gonna use where you're gonna use less brain power and decision-making, essential solely be following the signals on the indicator with a twist, okay? So the first strategy is if you don't understand setups or confirmations and you wanna kinda just you know follow a proven system where you don't have to think much, you don't have to apply much of your own trading knowledge, you'll still need to know a little bit about trading and you know support and resistance levels, stuff like that, the basic stuff. But this is what, like I said, the person under me who is trading using this indicator, you know, actually following these buy and sell signals, they're a complete beginner, right? So they knew nothing about trading and they're following strategy number one because again, you don't have to use much brain power or decision making. Um, so this means this is probably a better strategy for beginners when they're first starting out, trying to learn how to trade, trying to be profitable. Um, you know, you could think of trading as like learning a new language and this tool indicator, whatever you wanna call it, it's kind of like using Google Translate, right? That's kind of the best analogy I can give you. So anyways, if you're using strategy number one, this is kind of how I'd use it. So the analysis will tell you on the left three different things, right? So this button will either say neutral, lightly sold, or lightly bought, okay? So it's either gonna be gray, red, or green. If it's red, lightly sold. If it's gray, it's neutral. If it's green, right, that means it's lightly bought. So the way I'm using what the analysis is telling me to beat the indicator and still follow the signals but make more money than the indicator itself is, for example, if this button says neutral and it's gray right here on the left, what I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna take buy signals near support because if it's neutral, that means it's more likely to be a choppy day. We're not gonna have much momentum in one direction or another. We're more likely to fail at resistance and get bought up at support. So in that case, if the indicator is telling you to get short, like there's a sell signal here, at a support level, again, if it's neutral, I don't wanna go short at a support level if the market is neutral, okay? So that's where, again, I'm only taking buy signals near support, so if it gives us a buy signal down here, then I'll actually take the trade. As you can see, today is lightly sold, so you, know, you wanna focus on just taking the sell signals. If you just took the sell signals today, you would have made way more money than $1,100. And this is where you can follow a very simple strategy, very simple set of rules based on what the analysis is telling you to beat the indicator and make more money than it's already making, right? So only take buy signals near support. So if you know how to do basic support and resistance, you'll understand this and only tell, take sell signals near resistance. And if you still don't know how to do support resistance and you wanna follow this, right? When you actually sign up to this tool, I'll give you free access to my trading community. And inside of here, I give my support and resistance levels every single day on the NASDAQ market before the market opens. So again, this is only if this button says neutral, right? What the analysis is telling us. That means it's more likely to be a choppy day. We're gonna bounce up and down. Now, the next part of this is, let's say this says lightly bought or the button is green, 
Okay, so as you can see, sometimes this will be green, it'll say lightly bought. If there's more buying pressure in the market or the banks, the hedge funds need the price to get pushed up so they can fill their quotas for the day, right? So anyways, as we can see, um, what you would do when it's green, very simple, right? Common sense, you only take the buy signals. That's it, very simple, you only take the buy signals. So um, as you can see, we're lightly sold today. So all the buy signals it gave us, we're not gonna take them. Same thing on the flip side, if it's slightly sold or the button's red, just like it's showing today, we're only gonna take the sell signals, right? That's all you have to do. Very, very simple. Um, obviously, you know, you don't have to trade all day long. You could have seen this when the market opened. It looks like the, you can see it changed in real time. So sometimes this will change throughout the day as well. So now, since it just changed the neutral as the time I'm making this video, now I would go back to this signal and this system and only follow these. But again, what I was saying earlier is like, you know, let's say it said it was lightly sold when we're here, right? You could have took this trade and you would have been up, you know, I think this one made, yeah, $400. You could have walked away for the day, right? Or you took this one, $959. You could have walked away for the day. You don't have to take every single signal all day long. Now let's go and go over strategy number two. This is the one I personally follow with my own trading account that I actually trade with. So let me just read this. This strategy, you're gonna be using my slash your setup. So whether you're following setups I use or setups you use, it doesn't matter. To trade like normal, right? So you're gonna trade normally, except you're gonna be applying some extra rules to avoid losses and increase your win rate. Like I said before, Again, I've been using this tool solely based on what the analysis is telling me to increase my win rate and avoid a lot of losing trades. And this is how I'm doing this, okay? Very simple. If it's neutral, right? So if this button's gray, just like it is now, it's neutral now, basically I'm okay with playing long or short setups near my zones. So I'm okay with playing long setups near support zones and I'm okay with playing short setups near resistance zones, right? Because I know that it's more likely to be choppy. So I'm gonna be looking for setups to go short. And again, a setup is multiple confirmations, right? So just cause we're in a resistance and it's neutral doesn't mean I'm automatically gonna go short, right? I'm gonna look for a setup. I'm gonna look for volume. I'm gonna look for reversal candles. Maybe I'll look for a double top pattern. So again, I put the confirmations in here and then I can use the indicator to manage my position as well. Same thing here. If it's lightly bought, what do you think I'm gonna do, right? If this says lightly bought, um, this button says lightly bought, meaning they need to get the price higher. You can guess it, right? I'm only going to play long setups. Even if I see a short setup, we're in a resistance area, but then I see this says lightly bought, right? Again, I'm not going to take the short trade because it's less likely to work out. So again, this is the main way that this tool has helped my trading so much is literally just avoiding trades when it says lightly bought or it says lightly sold. Same thing on the flip side. If it says lightly sold, I'm only gonna look for short setups. So anyways, that's pretty much it, right? That's all you need to know with this tool. Other than that, they do have notes about what the market is doing. Um, they also have an economic calendar telling you when news is coming out, so just a helpful resource there. But the main thing is looking at what the analysis is telling you and the actual signals if you're following these as well. So anyways, now let me go and go into the trade I took this morning that I was able to take and you know make a good amount of money on by using this tool, what the analysis was telling me, okay? So anyways, I'm gonna go into my thinkorswim chart. This is where I actually look at the trades. Um, and I actually traded ES. So even though this tool only focuses on NQ, right? Uh, ES and NQ, S&P 500 is the ES. They tend to move together, right? So I can still take trades on ES um, using this tool and what the analysis is telling me. So if I go to ES, for example, we can see um, we pulled back to our support level. So I had this level marked before the market opened. You can see in our discord, as you can see, this is the support level I had marked before the market opened. We ended up selling off and we pulled back straight into the zone. And at the time we were trading at the zone. So this is like 15 minutes into the market open. Uh, let me just zoom in here. So this is like 15 minutes into the market open. We're in a support level. Okay, so if I go to my system, strategy number two, at the time, right, this said neutral. At the time we were trading in this support zone, uh, the Quantico cap indicator said neutral. So if we go to my strategy, my rule, right, we were neutral, so that means I can play a long or short setup near zones. So in this case, I was playing a long setup in my support zone. 
Okay, so once we were in the zone, I was basically looking at my confirmations, right? I was looking at candles and volume. That's it, right? So if we go into the chart now, and as you can see, the main confirmation for me was, you know, we had some reversal candles here with high volume. I didn't want to enter yet. I was waiting it for it to play out a little bit more. We had another reversal candle with decent volume. And then the telltale sign for me where I actually entered my full position was this candle right here. As you can see, this candle really stood out. Not only was this a reversal candle indicating that buyers were stepping in, as we can see, we came down, we wicked up, we closed near the top. Buyers dominated this candle. Not only that, but check out the volume on this candle, right? See the elevated volume, see how much volume there was. So I'm not gonna do a whole lesson on volume here, but that basically means that we know that a lot of buyers stepped in in real time on this candle because not only was it a reversal candle, which indicates buyers, but we also had extremely high volume. So not only did this tell me that there were buyers, but it told me that there are big buyers, right? So big hedge funds, big traders, right? They got in on this candle because they didn't want the price to go lower. And as you can see, after that, we ripped up to the VWAP and this is where I trimmed most of my position. So again, that's the trade I took today. Very simple. And I was able to take this long because again, the market was neutral. So I knew we were more likely to bounce at support levels and get rejected at resistance levels since it was telling me that it was a neutral day. So anyways, guys, that is how I'm using this indicator to increase my win rate for, by over 15%. And even if you aren't even using your own setups, you're just using strategy number one, kind of following the signals, again, you're still going to be able to make really good money. As you can see, it just took another trade. Now it's up 1300 bucks um, using this tool. So if you guys do want access to this tool, you wanna to learn more about it, um, like I said, I'm gonna go and leave my link in the description below where you can access it. Like I said, if you do sign up, you'll get free access to some training from me going over exactly how I use this tool. Uh, more in-depth training from this video. And also you'll get free access to our community where you can network and chat with other traders who are also using this tool, who are also day trading in the stock market. Uh, plus you also get access to my levels on NASDAQ so you can see exactly where your support and resistance lines are. So anyways, guys, hopefully this video was helpful for you. Again, this is optional. You don't have to use this, but it's something that's really helped me avoid a lot of losing trades and really just understand the market direction and where it's gonna go throughout the day. I wish I had something like this when I first started trading. It would have been so much easier. So anyways, guys, that being said, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll go and see you in my next one with another day trading lesson.